So today I'm going to show you exactly how to transfer your MP3 files that you own physically on either a Mac or a Windows computer directly onto your iPhone and bypass all of this nonsense that Apple has you go through to try and sync your music to your phone from your computer or from the cloud. The one thing that the iPhone does not do is sync your music to the iCloud. You have to have their streaming service uh, to be able to access music and streaming, and it's all somewhat complicated. And I watched a bunch of videos. I just got my iPhone a week ago, and the music part was the most annoying part because I personally collect James Horner scores, and he did some of the music for some of the biggest movies in history, Braveheart, Legends of the Fall, Titanic, Avatar, many others. And I started collecting his scores after The Rocketeer came out. And I like to have the music on me. I don't want to have to stream it, get it through the cloud. You know, if you're going through mountains or something, you're going to lose the signal. And I want to have that music physically on my phone. I could do it on the Android very easily. Uh, I've got it on my Windows computer in the other room, and I would just stream it in the house. But when I'm out of the house, I want this physically on my phone. And Apple did not make it easy for me to do that. I'm going to explain what I went through and what many other people are going to go through if they try to do what I did and the simple solution to get your music on the phone the way you want it. So the first thing I did, and I'm going to switch over to a different screen here, I went into my music app here on my Mac. Now, normally my iPhone's not going to show. I have it directly plugged in with the lightning cable right now. So Envision, that's not there. And the iTunes store doesn't normally show either. So when I came in here, this whole thing was blank. And the first thing I did is I went up to File to Import. So I took all of my James Horner scores and I put them on a thumb drive. So I went to Import and I went to that drive, which is right here, and it's got the James Horner scores. So what I did is I opened this up and I highlighted all of these files and I went to open, okay, which then put them on my computer. Now here they are and they're gonna populate in here like this. And I've got a lot of music on here from old computers. So it, it starts basically right here with aliens. Now, all of the scores popped in, but when I first did this and imported the music, I would say only 20% of them had cover art. I spent two hours, and know that you may have to do this, you're going to have to go and find cover art for a lot of your music. So if you own this music and you're not streaming it and you didn't buy it through iTunes, you are going to have, uh, you're going to have to look for the cover art for a lot of them. Some of them will populate, but most of mine did not. And it was very simple to do this. I could go to the thing, you know, I could hit the three dots down here, and I would go to Get Info, and this is where I can change the artwork. Uh, you can add artwork. So what I did is I did a Google search for a beautiful mind, James Horner, a beautiful mind. I found artwork, downloaded the image to my downloads, came in here, went to Get Info, and I went to Artwork, Add Artwork, and I can select it from my Downloads folder. And that's how I imported the art into the Music app here. And then when I was done with all of this, I synced it with my phone. And when I did that, the music did go to my phone, but 20% of the albums had no cover art, and 20% had the wrong cover art. And I was scratching my head over this, and I found out through searching online that this is a problem with the music app and has been since about July of last year. And Apple keeps telling everybody, we'll fix it with the next update, look for the next update. So I got tired of dealing with that. And I said, there has got to be a way for me to get this music on my phone. So what I did is I deleted all the music off my phone. And I tried to do it again, and I got the same result. So I deleted it all again, and I, I canceled my service with the music app through Apple. You know, they wanted $10 a month. I got a free one-month subscription. And then I pretty much found out after that I couldn't sync anything. I could not sync my own music. I could certainly grab stuff that I had purchased off of iTunes, but I was no longer able to wirelessly sync my music with my iPhone without being a part of the service, which I think is bullcrap because I own this music. I've actually paid for this music. I have the CDs. I've created MP3 files out of them, and I want them on my phone. 
So the next step was for me to plug in the lightning cable. And when I do that, it shows up here on the left-hand side. So it shows up as Aaron's iPhone. So that's what happens when I plug it directly in. Now, what's great about this is I can go in here. Now, when I first did this, I actually, uh, it told me there was a file system issue and that I needed to reset my phone, which I did. I had it saved to the iCloud. Uh, I, I did a reset and then I was able to come in here and my phone actually showed up. And what I did is when you come in here, what's great about this is I can come up here to sync settings. So this is directly through the lightning cable into my Mac. And this process is very similar on a PC. You will have to, if you want to do this same thing on a PC, you're going to have to go to iTunes, you know, go to apple.com, look for iTunes and, and download it from there. They're going to direct you to the Windows store, you know, the uh, Microsoft store to download iTunes. Don't download it from there. Actually download it from Apple. Uh, that's the only version that really works. And you'll download it and you would import your music into iTunes the same way I showed you here through the menu. Plug your drive in, go to import, choose where the music is from, and it's going to populate the same way. And you'd have to go through and put in the cover art the same way as what I kind of showed here on here, but through, uh, through iTunes. Okay. So what I do is I go to sync settings, and this is where this gets pretty awesome. What I'm able to do here is I'm able to come in and I can sync anything that I want, anything that I choose that's on my Mac computer here onto onto the onto the phone. So what I did is I went to music and I don't want to do the entire music library. I want to only do selected artists, albums, genres, and playlists. Uh, so I want to be able to choose. So I went to albums and you can see all of my albums that are selected. Now there's other albums that are not. This is music that I recently purchased through iTunes. I'm doing an 80s rock playlist, but I don't want those selected to go onto my phone through this transfer. I'm going to actually select that music I'm going to create I'm going to go find some cover art and I'm going to create a playlist with my 80s rock songs on it and that's when I will transfer them but right now I only wanted the all these James Horner scores or what I wanted to wanted to sync so I hit sync and it put them all so you can see that I'm using 13 gigs of music on my iPhone from all of my James Horner scores so that was how I transferred it now what's interesting is I added a couple of albums later and when I came in here, I unselected all the other stuff because it was synced to my iPhone. And I only selected the three new albums. Well, when I went to hit sync, I got rid of all the other albums and only synced the three. So know that if you're going to sync this way, you have to keep everything you previously had synced. And, and that's usually what's checkmarked. And then you would check, check mark the new stuff as well. Okay. So that's how I was finally able to get the music on my phone. And I'll actually show this to you. I'm going to change my view again, and I'm going to actually go over to my phone so you can see, you can see what I have on my phone. So here I am on my phone, and you can see the front screen here. And I'm going to go into my music app, and you can see now that all of my James Horner, I'm going up to the top, and I have this sorted by, by alphabetic order, so by title. And you can see all of my scores are in here now with the cover art that I had selected. And it goes through the whole thing here. So they all transferred without a problem. So they have sync issues through the cloud. Whoops. They have sync issues through the cloud. Uh, but if you use your lightning cable and you go directly into the computer, you are able to put your artwork on there. as Well, the whole album on there. And it actually physically have it on your phone so you don't have to worry about streaming. Now, I came in earlier. I bought a bunch of songs. Like I said, I'm doing that 80s rock album, and they, they actually showed up in here, and it's very simple to get rid of it. If you get rid of it on here, it's not going to get rid of it on your computer, but you would simply hold down on the album and go to remove or delete from library, and then it will delete it from your iPhone. Now, I could easily add it again by going in and syncing and choosing that album again. But I didn't want the 80 songs in here individually. Like I said, I'm going to have one album in here, one playlist. That's through library. What I'm going to end up doing is going to playlist, and I'm going to add a playlist in here later so that I can do the 80s uh, rock songs as well. So that's how you actually transfer music to your iPhone. Uh, what you do is you want to have that direct connection. First, get everything situated on the computer the way you want it with the album cover art and everything so you can take your time. Get it exactly the way you want it. 
go in, directly put that lightning cable in, get that connection, and then go ahead and sync it by selecting your, your phone and then going up in, into that other corner. It was up here. Go to those sync settings, and you'll be able to sync it that way through playlists, through albums, however you want to have it show up on your phone. So that's my little tutorial here on the music. I will tell you I was very irritated when I went online, and I could not find what I needed. And I spent four days trying to figure this out. And the only way it worked was that direct connection and syncing it that way. So I hope this helps other people because, you know, I tried to use Box.com. I, I tried other third-party apps like Get Files. It was something like called Get Files and, and other stuff that other people talked about. And there's even people on YouTube who have their own proprietary uh, app that you can download to load music, but they don't make it easy to do. Nothing was easier than what I just showed you because it's all managed through the music app, which I love, and it's physically on there. All right, if you guys like this video, or if you think I could do something better in the presentation, please let me know because this isn't going to be the only tutorial video that I do. I'm probably going to do one to show people how to put a ringtone on there as well. And if you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you will be notified as I have new videos go up. I do appreciate the support. We'll see you guys on the next video.